Alrighty. <coughs> what is going on, guys? K Dog's Kennel coming at you with the start. I have talked about this for several several weeks. Um, doing a full fledged Final Fantasy 1 walkthrough. Not a playthrough, but a walkthrough. So, what do my walkthroughs consist of? A lot of information. And probably a lot of information people would probably not think about and or care about. But, if you are a Final Fantasy buff like myself, um, I really think you're going to enjoy um, this walkthrough. Um, playing the Pixelated Remaster. Um, this is... Uh, so there's a lot of changes from the, the, re, the, the remaster to the original NES game that was released in uh, 1987. But, um... That is uh, here nor there. The game, pretty much the same thing, <clears throat> or the uh, the same game, just like I said, modified, graphically enhanced. Um, it's it's pretty freaking awesome. So, want to start uh, this episode by wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving today. Um, so, um, celebrate it with your family, with your loved ones. And all of that. So, kickstarting things off, you have four characters, um, and you have various classes to choose from. Um, only six. Uh, first game only had six. Uh, warrior, Thief, Monk, Red Mage, White Mage, and Black Mage. There really is no... Um, I don't say wrong party. It, it's just really whatever you prefer. Um, I've seen... You know, parties of four warriors. I've seen parties of four, you know, two warriors, two red mages. I've seen parties of all white mages. More, probably one of the most the difficult, more difficult runs to do. Um, and, uh, but my personal, my, again, you don't have to play it the way I'm going to play it. You can play it however you want to play it. Um, but we're going to start with a warrior. And that is going to be myself. Um, the next one is going to be... Um, I'm going to just keep it as a thief. And we're going to have uh, one of my dearest friends, Big Baby J30. We're going to have him alongside on this journey. Um, and then we're going to have a white mage and we're going to have a black mage. Mainly because uh, magic, it's, I don't want to say it's important in the game, but it can definitely help. All right? So, because uh, Holly's Adventures um, made me uh, a white mage in her game. Uh, she just started doing a uh, playthrough of this. Uh, I'm going to have Holly as a white mage in mine. And my good friend, Mindless Meat, um, I've got him in my uh, Final Fantasy 3 run. So, I'm just going to kind of switch this up just because uh, they... Uh, the newest member of our community, I'm Not Great. We're going to have him as our Black Mage. Um, like I said, Mindless I've got in, my, in another Final Fantasy game. So, just trying to kind of spread around, you know, everything. So, once you're done, go into done. It's that simple. And then we get a really cool cinematic intro. The world lies shrouded in darkness. Various places we're going to be going in the game. That was the uh, the uh, Temple of Fiends uh, slash Chaos Shrine. The Winds Die. That is the uh, uh, Mirage Tower. That, uh, that Mirage Tower is where the uh, uh, Flying Fortress is. The Seas Rage. That is Onrak. Uh, that is where the uh, Water Shrine is or the... Uh, I, I want to say it's something different in uh, in the in the remaster. And there's the uh, Earth Cave, aka well, it's called the Terra Cave, aka the Earth Cave. That is actually the first uh, major cave that we're going to be tackling. Um, and then this is where we start our journey. The town of Cornelia. At 
each, uh, yeah, there's four crystals that you have to basically light. There they are. Terra Cave, the Volcano, um, Water Shrine, and then, uh, uh, I think in this game it's the Flying Fortress, I think is what it's called, but, alright. Alright, so just like all Final Fantasy games, um, you can turn encounters off and on, which is really cool, but, uh, so, we start the game with 500 gil, um, so we're going to obviously go into Cornelia. So we have the inn. Uh, the inn, obviously, uh, you rest at, and uh, it replenishes all your HP as well as your magic charges. And it only charges 30 gil a night, which is actually the cheapest inn in the game. Uh, the more you travel and whatnot and find other inns, they get a lot more expensive. So trust me, don't do that. Um, one thing I love that the remaster did is when you go into an item shop, it used to be that you would buy a uh, potion, or it might have been, uh, I think it was called Heal in the original game, in the, in the original NES game. And you could only buy them one at a time. It was aggravating. It was annoying. Um, high potions um, and ethers that didn't even sell them in the first game. Um, they would sell uh, antidotes, uh, which in the uh, the original game were called pures. Um, you can, you know, so you can buy all sorts of stuff uh, in the opening uh, town. But not going to worry too much about items just yet. The one thing I do want to get started with is our weapons. <coughs> Can't fight without weapons. Alright, so I am going to buy a couple rapiers. I'm going to buy a hammer. And I'm not great. It's going to start with a staff, but... Okay. There we go. Get everybody uh, wielded, and now uh, we'll go into the. Uh... Right, so everybody's equipped with clothes. Uh, we're gonna get a couple things of leather armor. Actually, I'm gonna get one thing—a chainmail for me. So again, just getting started if you will. Um, one thing I want to talk about is formation. Um, you see how you, you can switch your characters around. Who's in the, in the top slot? Now, you want to be very careful when doing this. And the reason because you might think to yourself, okay, dog, placement doesn't really matter, does it? In Final Fantasy 1, it actually does. Um, I highly recommend that your... Uh, the person with the highest HP is in your top slot. The reason being is in battles, enemies will focus 50% of attacks on the person in your top spot. All right. Second one, um, you want to put somebody that has, you know, some a little bit of high HP, uh, but they will be targeted 25% of the time. And then third and fourth, um, they will be attacked 12.5% of the time, respectively. So if you add that up, 50, 25, 12.5, 12.5. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You get 100%. There's your entire pie. So, as far as uh, uh, formation goes, uh, in Final Fantasy 1, it definitely made a difference. All right? So, be careful uh, how you place your people. Uh, next up, we're going to go into the magic shop. There is uh, white magic and black magic, obviously. Cure, we're going to get for Holly. Now, you'll notice that uh, there is only three charges uh, per level, okay? Uh, so, shops in Cornelia offer level one magic, so each of your mages can learn three spells apiece, all right? So, we're going to learn Cure for Holly. We're also going to learn Dia, or Dia, as some people pronounce it, um, which, if you're familiar with the original game, that is the harm spell. Um... They just renamed it for whatever reason. Um, Harm slash Dia is very effective against undead enemies. Um, skeletons, um, zombies, vampires. I mean, anything that is undead in the game, if you cast Dia, um, <coughs> it will um, 
do some significant damage. Also fire for undead enemies, but Daya is a, uh, a, a pretty good option as well. As far as the Black Mage goes, um, we're gonna we're gonna teach uh, I am great fire. Puts all enemies to sleep, lowers one evasion. Um, we could teach him lightning, but honestly, uh, we're gonna be getting a uh, an item later in the game that uh, casts a very powerful thunder spell all on its own. So, so. Me, personally, I'll just stick with fire for I'm not great for right now, but... And now... We got to have some battles, guys. Actually, I went up... I went up can you get out of my way, please? Thank you. Let's go to the item shop. We're gonna buy some uh, curatives and whatnot to get us started. A couple potions. Actually, we'll just stock up on four potions. Not that we're gonna like seriously need them in the early going. Um, we're gonna be fighting a lot of imps in the early going. Um, but yeah. All right, I do have a crap ton of notes. I like I said, I have been working on this walkthrough for weeks, so uh, bear with me a little bit here. Um, okay, so I need to go into uh, Castle Cornelia, and you must see the king at once. Talk to this guy. He'll take you into Castle Cornelia to talk to the king. Honestly, the most iconic music in all of Final Fantasy. I'll let you guys read the dialogue boxes, just because... Yeah, just because. <laughs> I'm providing the walkthrough. The least you guys can do is read the boxes, but... The story in this game to me is a little cheesy because it involves like time travel and stuff. But again, it's Final Fantasy. It's a fantasy game. Come on now. So of course I will rescue your daughter Sarah. Chaos Shrine, yeah. It's uh, Chaos Shrine, also known as in the original game as the Temple of Fiends. That's our first destination. But we're going to do some battles, because uh, we got to level up. You don't want to go into uh, Garland as uh, as level 1. You want to get a few, uh, at least a few levels. I I recommend uh, getting everybody up to like level 3, 4, 5. You know, get about a 90, 100 HP uh, it's not a difficult fight, but, I mean, like I said, if you go in at level 1, uh, he's going to put a beating on you, so. We'll talk about Garland here uh, in just a short short. So we beat Garland, rescue Sarah, he'll have the bridge rebuilt as a token of gratitude, which, you know, like I said, without beating Garland, you can't really advance in the game. So... In the castle, there are uh, some chests, some treasure chests, I do believe. Yeah, six of them, to be exact. <clears throat> a lot of them, um, actually the chests I think are up here. You cannot unlock those um, until we get the Mystic Key, which is going to be a little bit later on. After we uh, after we do the, uh, the Marsh Cave. You can go around and talk to everybody if you want, but... Because uh. as you can see, we're all level one. Um, Thirty-five is the max HP we have. That's not going to cut it against Garland. Got nothing in here. So, all right. So let's go have ourselves some battles now. In the early part of the game, we are confined. Uh, there's the bridge the king mentioned that uh, will basically set us on our journey. So, we're confined to this little area here. Here we have a goblin guard, again. You know, enemies in here are going to be super basic. They're, uh, a lot of them will drop potions. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to waste money or gill on potions. Um, 
but... One thing I love about the remaster as well is if, let's say for example, if two of your party members uh, in the original game, like, targeted the same enemy, alright? One of them, um, killed the enemy, so your second character would attack air, which is super annoying. But like I said, you can see, that, I mean, boom, there's our first level up. And they're sizable level ups. I mean, early in the game, they're sizable. Look, I mean, like I went from 35 to 59, Big Baby goes from 30 to 55, Holly goes from 33 to 57, and I'm not great. Only gets one HP. Again, as a black mage, um, your mages are will start slow, especially your black mage, but trust me, uh, the Black Mage will become a pretty, uh, pretty sizable addition to your party. Uh, the more he levels up, the more he, uh, uh, the more spells he learns and whatnot. He he does become a really huge asset in the game. So, uh, you and Holly are streaming this game at the same time. Yeah, I, like I said, I've, I've talked about doing a Final Fantasy 1 walkthrough for quite some time, like a full-fledged walkthrough, and when I saw Holly doing it yesterday, I was like, oh, I was like, man, I was like, I really want to start this walkthrough. Uh, with it being on the, uh, on the, uh, cusp of finishing Final Fantasy 3, I'm like, you know what, we're gonna just go ahead and, uh, start it. Um. Ooh. Nine enemies on the screen, but like I said, goblins, goblin guard. Oh, goblin guards are a little bit stronger than the uh, the regular goblins, but cure on Holly. Oops. Uh, forty. Oh, really? <laughs> or dice to see what we get. This is just usually the, the standard party I roll with. I mentioned right at the top, I mean, there's really no right party, wrong party. It's just really... It's just preference. There we go. I'll lay back up to... We'll turn on auto battle. Let auto battle. Uh, let auto battle do for me. Do very nice. Bam! There's our second level up. Very nice. They go end up with two thieves, a red mage, and a black mage. Yeah, red mages are actually kind of cool too because red mages can learn uh, white and uh, uh, white magic and dark uh, black magic, but. Lone Goblin Guard, who missed. So, we're going to level grind here for just a bit. Anytime I grind... I like auto battle, but Red Mario seems to hate it. I mean, I, it's... I, I Honestly, until you pointed it out to me, I had no freaking... Uh, Uh, I thought I learned that they can't learn Dia. That really upset me. Are you talking about the Red Mage? I don't really use Red... I've never really used a Red Mage, so, but I... I maybe there's some spells they can't learn. I just... I don't, never understood why they renamed Harm Dia. Or Dia. But, it's the same thing. This fight will uh, rest up. That's really weird. I, I would. That's yeah. I guess I, I've never used a red mage in, in the first game, but imps are. Uh, I think they have like nine HP or something like that. Like super, super. Uh... Oops. Uh... Uh, there's just certain spells that red mages just can't use. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Yeah, it's like, I know they can learn both spells, but yeah, I guess I didn't realize there was a, uh... 
I don't say a limit, but like a, a cap, if you will, like what they can learn. Uh, really? You leave with one HP, or one experience, uh, experience point. Um, you can also run into wolves out here uh, in this first area. Uh, crazy horses, aka mad ponies. You'll often hear me refer to some enemies as the original names that they were in the original game. But, so there you go, there's another level up, outstanding. Oh, nice, I'm not great, goes from 27 to 50. So, good level up for him. And then when you need to, uh, to rest up, like I said, just come over here to the inn. I was going to say, the Mad Ponies, I seem to recall as well. Yeah, I think in this game they're called Crazy Horses, but yeah, Mad Ponies. Um, it sucks the Peninsula of Power is gone. I know. I... That, yeah. I was like, no! <coughs> Critical. Nice. Okay, we're gonna get one more level up before we go uh, fight Garland. These parts won't be too like each part of this won't be excessively long because, like I said, with doing a walkthrough, I want to kind of give each area in, res uh, in retrospect their own part, if you will, um, just so I can kind of discuss um, a lot of you know a lot of things of you know what you need to do what. I recommend you do and whatnot. I don't do walkers a lot because there's not a lot of games I know like the back of my hand, but Final Fantasy 1 happens to be one of those games. You can, come, you can actually come into the Chaos Shrine. There's wolves. Oh my god, no. Gotta find something other than imps. Give you guys a variety, yeah. Man, Holly's just beating the crap out of everybody. And plus, the experience is a little bit higher inside the shrine. Um, each corner of the Chaos Shrine has a room with treasure. Um, a couple of these. Gaius Worms. Uh, these were uh, creeps uh, in the original game. Uh, and they are weak to fire. Nice. I'm not great. Hammers out that fire spell. I think Final Fantasy VI would be the only one I could do a walkthrough for. And you know, it's funny because Final Fantasy One, as far as the early games go, would be the only one I could do a walkthrough for. <clears throat> this door has been secured with the Mystic Key. The Mystic Key we'll get a little bit later on. Okay, so there's two rooms that are open, then there's two rooms that are locked with the Mystic Key. Ooh, Black Widow. Spider. Not too difficult. Uh, Black Widows, I want to say they were, uh... Tarantulas in the original? Or arachnids, maybe? Alright, so these two are secure, and it, basically it's just a giant square. Ooh, skeletons. Um, yeah, Daya uh, also deals uh, damage to everybody, which is nice. Very nice. Excellent. Uh, I kept installing the Final Fantasy games as I finished them, except for Final Fantasy VI. I mean, I would like to, uh... Because each, uh... I'm really... I'm, as much as you talk about VI, Mindless, I'm gonna tell you, I'm actually really looking forward to playing VI. Um, I, I know you you tout that one a lot, which, I mean, like I said, I that's awesome. I, I'm actually, like I said really anxious to, uh, to, uh, to play that one. We'll, we should finish up Final Fantasy 3, um, this weekend, and then we'll start in on 4. Okay. Here we have a potion, and we have a tent. Um, tents... Uh, replenish uh, a small amount of HP. Ooh, a ghoul. Oh, 
Oh, it's all, all these uh, preemptive strikes, but I'm liking it. Man, a, little, a little tanky, but nothing we can't handle. Then we're going to come down here to this last room. Then we're going to go back, rest up, save it. Well, not save it. But... Ooh, werewolves. Ooh, werewolves, bad. Werewolves you want to get rid of immediately. Werewolves can uh, poison the party. And they also hit like trucks. As you saw, uh, I'm not great. Take a heck of, heck of a shot there. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, cure. Final Fantasy IV is great. Is it the, fir the first one where there is save points inside dungeons? Oh, nice. I like that. Right, werewolf's gone. Let's heal up. Uh, I'm not great. The rest of this. Uh... Yo, I'm not great. I'm gonna be lurking. But happy American Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving to you, my friend. Yeah, we're actually gonna get this part. Uh... This part done, and then uh, we're gonna do our festivities, and then um, I will try to get another part of this uploaded tonight. Uh, with tomorrow being Black Friday, I I want to be at work at four o'clock in the morning so I can get set up for uh, the day. Leather cap, we're gonna give to the thief. We're gonna give to uh, Big Baby. Uh, that way, give him a little bit more defense. Yeah, I loved, uh, the, I saw, uh, I'm Not Great listened to a bunch of uh, people that, I guess, uh, subbed to him, and, uh, I, I had to laugh when he said, I think I think I accidentally joined a, a, a cult on YouTube, um, which I just found that hilarious, but, uh, no, I'm Not Great is the, uh, the newest member of our community, um, like I said, I love watching his videos, because, like I said, he just, he has a lot of humor, uh, in his video, in his videos. We're going to rest up at the inn. And then, uh... Alright, there we go. And then we're going to go take out Garland. And then... We will get this part uh, wrapped up. Oop. I don't know why I had it. Oh, yeah. He is the only one uh, not playing a Final Fantasy. <laughs> well, I loved his comment with the one he tagged me. He said, uh, playing as much Final Fantasy as he can. Oh, and he has to be at work in like 30 minutes. <laughs> I was like, well, that's not that's about right. <laughs> All right. Inside the Chaos Shrine, uh, we have Garland, who is in front of us. Uh, we have an orb uh, there. That is where the ending of the game takes place. But let's talk to Garland. He will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom of his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine. Though I found him through... Oh, yeah. Uh, mindless, yeah. Uh, I'm not great. Uh, came uh, through you. Or uh, through your recommendation. He was one of the ones that you shouted out. I watched a couple of uh, I'm not great's Elden Ring uh, New Game Plus uh, playthrough or run run-throughs. And he had mentioned it's the first uh, New Game Plus run he's done in a Souls game. So. Ah, though, actually, yeah, if he's got Final Fantasy uh, stuff on there, that's definitely going to make me want to check it out. But, uh, right, here we are, Garland. Um, pretty, pretty basic. Um, just want to attack him. Use, uh, fire spells. Um, and whatnot. Uh, Garland, uh, first boss of the game has 212, uh, HP. So, that's just kind of gives you a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a basis of, uh, how much health he has. He has 212 health. And boom. That's simple. Garland defeated, we now rescue Princess Sarah. I 
I have come to rescue you. That's not true. Several people have defeated Garland <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Castle Cornelia, which will automatically uh, be teleported there, which is really cool. Not that the run back is huge or anything like, anything like that. You're welcome, King. Warriors of Light. Oh, I, uh, I'm not great. I'm, I am naturally inclined towards towards smartassery. <laughs> hey, either way, it, it, it works. And the king is going to basically tell us the prophecy. Lucan's prophecy. Oh, don't worry, king. We'll make him shine again. Yeah, the uh, the, Chris, the first crystal that he is talking about is the Terra Cave, um, aka uh, the Earth Cave. Uh, if you're more familiar with the uh, the original game, um, so he's gonna repair the bridge for us. And he wants to talk to Sarah again. This loot has been entrusted to the princesses of Cornelia for many generations. When the abducted me, Garland took this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you in your journey. Yeah. Yeah. You obtained the loot. Man, I cannot tell you guys how amazing this loot is. You want to know how amazing it is? I'm going to tell you guys how amazing it is. It's so awesome that you don't use it to the end of the game. That's how awesome it is. <clears throat> A sonorous instrument of great beauty. Yeah. It opens up... Uh, uh, the, uh, at the very end of the game, when we go through the Chaos Shrine for the last time, uh, it opens up a stone plate. Um, yeah, it's redonkulous. But all right. So before we wrap up, we're gonna get. We're actually going to get to our uh, next destination. You get a special heart from Final Fantasy IV. Oh. This is a really cool thing. This a little uh, little cutscene of uh, them repairing the bridge. That wasn't in the original game. It actually shows them fixing the bridge. Ra yeah, mindless exactly. Yeah, that wasn't in the original game. The King Steve Bridge. <laughs> and so that being said, we can head out and cross said bridge. It's eight bit the inner joke. Yeah, we're just, then we have a very beautiful scene here. And there's going to be some, yeah, there's going to be the the story being told, if you will, at the speed of, uh, half the speed of smell. Scrolling gives me a chance to look at my notes. Yeah, we'll be getting, uh, we're going to be heading to Provaca, uh, and then gaining access to the ship.
<clears throat> Alright, so that being said... So that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this first part here uh, before we get to Provaca. Uh, in the next part, um, we'll be going to Provaca. We will be getting a, uh, a ship, and we'll also visit uh, Matoya's Cave. She's going to be uh, an NPC that we need to uh, help out here in the next couple parts. So that being said, guys, I want to sincerely thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would too, pretty please. It does help the channel grow. And I will, uh, like I said, I'll try to get uh, part two of the walkthrough uploaded uh, this afternoon when I get back home. So, but that being said, guys, happy Thanksgiving to you all. Enjoy the time with your families. And, um, yeah, I will catch you guys later on tonight uh, for the next part.